All right, we'll go across live now where Union Minister Piyush Goel is addressing. Between EFTA and India, I would like to thank my colleague ministers, Minister Guy Parmalin, Minister Yani, Minister Yan, and Minister Dominique. I would like to acknowledge the huge contribution of Helene uh, Helene Budlinger from Switzerland and Commerce Secretary Sunil Bartwal and our two negotiators who did a fabulous job in a short period of time burning the midnight oil. Marcus from, uh, Swiss, from Switzerland representing EFTA countries and Satya Srinivas from India. This agreement reflects confidence and trust it also showcases the growing importance of the relationship between EFTA countries and India, India's growing stature, our commitment to openness, collaboration, and shared prosperity between the people of the five countries. It's an ambitious agreement. It integrates economies and enhances flow of trade and investments. It also focuses on sustainable growth, integrates India with many new global value chains, and promises huge business opportunities and employment opportunities to the people of the five countries. It's an innovative free trade agreement. It considers the sensitivities of all five countries to ensure universally being welcomed by businesses across the five nations. But most importantly, it brings in a new element for the first time in the history of FTAs, where investment commitment has been brought into a free trade agreement to balance the asymmetries between the economies of the EFTA region and the Indian economy, the large benefits that India brings to the table in terms of the demographic dividend, a young aspirational India, large pool of manpower and talent. All of this is being supplemented with innovative technologies and huge investment capabilities of the EFTA countries, thereby bringing both synergy and balance to this agreement. We have ensured that it covers all the modern elements of an FTA, environment and trade, IR, gender, a number of elements which have been concluded for the first time by India, also reflecting a new resurgent India, full of self-confidence, full of a do spirit, a can-do spirit, and a welcoming spirit where we are looking at engaging with the developed world from a position of strength and confident that our businesses can compete, our people can bring to fruition the benefits of this new FTA. There's a commitment for foreign direct investment flowing from EFTA countries to India of approximately $100 billion in the next 15 years, creating a million jobs in India. But in the process, not only giving an avenue for the large pools of capital available with these super developed economies, if I may say, but also helping them to take the benefits of their research and development, innovation, and modern technologies, not only to meet the needs of 1.4 billion Indians, but also to make them at economic and affordable cost, leveraging on the benefits of large economies of scale and affordable manpower, so that the technologies from our EFTA partner countries can meet the needs of the entire world from India. Thank you very much, colleague ministers, for your support.
the all the five countries stand to benefit we stand to benefit in terms of investment innovation and r&d you stand to benefit from the collaboration in terms of your ability to meet eight seven to eight billion people's needs across the world i am confident that this agreement has been will be good for businesses in all the five countries it has been welcomed by all the business communities on both sides a lot of stakeholder consultation running into hours and hours and hours of multiple meeting probably several hundred engagements between industry and line ministries in india this will also provide a conducive trade environment and confidence to businesses and investors on both sides as we integrate india into the european market and with our efta partner countries i'd like to acknowledge the leadership of prime minister narendra modi and the leadership of all the four efta partners in helping us create a win win platform for balanced sustainable and economic growth of all the five economies thank you thank you sir it's my pleasure minister piyush goel from